Oh. Hello. <laughs> well, hello. Just getting a good drink of water. Says we'll be live in a second, and then I. As if by I magic. Hello. Welcome, guys. How are you all doing? We thought we'd randomly stream on a. Um, what day is it? Wednesday. It's a Wednesday today. <laughs> on a yeah. Wednesday. Um, obviously, we were busy doing the uh, the auction on Sunday, and we couldn't share some goodies with you. So we thought yeah. we'd come on. Now, just to put it out there. We cannot compare with Zaheer and Beck's epic, amazing. I haven't seen that yet. <laughs> momentous haul the other night. That was so funny. Um, but we did want to come on and just share some stuff with you. Um, so yeah, sorry we're so a bit why late. Why is it so amazing and momentous? Oh, you just got to watch it. Have I? I don't know what Zaheer was on. I saw Tom <laughs> <I'm> teasing. <laughs> no, it was really fun. Yeah. I've been outsourcing again. Charity yes, shopping. I know. So here's got the sourcing bug, isn't he? He has indeed. Um, <laughs> we haven't been charity shopping. We've been jumbling again. We've been jumbling. We <laughs> do, you want, do you want to carry on with that little ditty? Um, yeah, we had a jumble sale last week, jumble sale the week before. Mm -hmm. And we've got a jumble sale on Saturday. Jumble sale on Saturday, which we're just right. about going to squeeze in before we go to Andrew's dad's party. So, yes. yeah, hectic. So I'll just scroll back. You yeah. can say a few hellos. I know a lot of people were waiting. Sorry, we were running late. I was waiting for Andrea. It's just what happens. I was waiting for you. I needed to use the loo. And then you were in it. Whatever. <laughs> Putting your makeup on. <laughs> right. To go with your coat. You put that on Instagram, didn't you? I did. Yeah. I I was got, some, got lots of love. Some people were saying, you look like David Gunn, like early 80s. Some people are saying Bowie, they've, they've Bowie, um, uh, Iggy Pop. Yeah, some fun comments. I, I had to give up my modelling career. I wanted to give everyone else a chance. Yeah, you thought it was more Zoolander, didn't you? <laughs> well, I did a Zoolander pose, and I think I think you took it after I'd done the whole Zoolander oh. thing, so I, it didn't quite come out. No. But, yeah, if you've seen that, we will share that coat. Uh, not sure I'll be modelling it again. Yeah, well, I was thinking of using it as my lead image. On eBay. <laughs> <laughs> on the listing. Yeah, I'm not sure that helps sell it at all. Um, yeah, I was going to say a few quick hellos. Um, welcome. If you're new to our channel, uh, I am Nick and this is my wife. Andrea. Uh, we are resellers. We buy and sell stuff. That's how we earn our living. And our YouTube channel is all about what we get up to and our adventures in reselling. Yes. That's, that's, that's the title of our, um, our YouTube channel. It's not. Well, I know, but it's Nick and Andrew. If you go into our channel, it says that at the top. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we should change that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll anyway, so us. yeah. <laughs> if you are new, welcome. Oh, yeah, Beck's in. Yeah, yeah Beck was okay. in the car, I think. Oh. In the car, just finished work, stuck That's in good. traffic. Hello. Hello. So yeah, hi Beck. Hi Malcolm. Bettina. Peter was first in. Um, Laura is there. Busy B. Amy. There is a there's a live side chat if you're managing to catch this live please pop in and say hello yeah um, ask us um, questions i just saw karen did you see karen yeah karen's in yeah andrea falling on a bruise malcolm chelsea welcome everybody i'm going to scroll to the end so now we can't see phoebe's in ads hey and um sam who's reselling polly yep yeah. richard payne i oh. saw richard's brother on um he was on with pete earlier i missed it live i was trying to catch up before we yeah, did this i was i was catching up with shelly's stream from earlier phoebe is in there m mass ian parkinson i know i've missed lots and lots of people but i will scroll to the end and we'll get to the good stuff well hopefully good stuff i didn't buy a lot again no i bought a ton <laughs> you bought a fair bit because you know I, I need more stuff I did, actually i did buy a lot if you're counting individual items i bought hundreds because I bought a box full of records. Oh yeah. Which I'll show you maybe later. Yeah. I've, I've got some here to remind me to show you the box. Um, and then I bought a bunch of media, and that was kind of it. But you went yeah. to town on clothes. The Furbies are still alive, by the way. <laughs> Apparently, Chris has said he only wants to destroy one. Yeah. Shall we so, quickly touch on that? Yeah, we could do. But we haven't. Well, I don't know if Chris is deciding who gets. Uh, the chop um he didn't he didn't specify which one right on the auction night if you didn't watch that we auctioned off these furbies and the winner had the option of me destroying them and making a video or to save them and it went crazy they sold for 400 pounds 
plus other people were donating to try and get them destroyed um, or saved. And Chris has paid the four hundred pounds, so they've all been paid for. That yeah, money has I all, mean, that's all a gone to incredible charity. Incredible donation! So thank you, Chris. But then Chris messaged um, me and yeah. said he's happy for one Furby, one of these poor innocent Furbies, to take the flak. So that is happening. A video will be coming in the next couple of weeks. But the rest may have a reprieve on the night if we get a few donations just to save the rest. That's going to be the plan on the night. Still hashtag save the Furbies. So you can <laughs> save them with donations on the evening. If you follow RJ on Instagram, he's got his own Furby and there's a video of his own Furby on there as well. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm still not doing Instagram. I need to I need to get in there. Oh, you were on there the other day. <laughs> Modeling my coat. Yeah. So anyway, Furby yeah. Gate is still continuing. I just want to say Go before on. it disappears, um, a shout out and hi to Beth, who says new here and already obsessed. So hi Beth and thank you for joining us. Hello, Beth. Beth Rolls. Um, so yeah, uh the next the part two of the auction is going to be Sunday. I'm pretty sure Tom confirmed with me. Sunday, <laughs> six o'clock. We're gonna go earlier because we have so much. Everyone has been so generous, but we have so much to get through. We're going to start at six and just see where it takes us. The plan after that is um, if there's bits and bobs left, we are going to do a Facebook auction. So on that Facebook page, you will be able to bid for those things and we will close the bidding live. We're going to do it slightly differently just to wrap up everything else that's left. After that, there's going to be a raffle. And, and then we can draw a line under it. <laughs> yeah, because otherwise, I mean, everybody's been so amazingly generous. We This could go on all year. It, it would it? never it stop. It would be like, you know, we'd st still be here next year. Oh, RJ's in. Hi, RJ. I was just talking about your Furby video on um, Instagram. <laughs> and uh, Nadine says she hopes it's the ugly purple one that gets it. Well, I said... If any one of them has to get it, the smaller one maybe because it's a bit of a mischief. Oh, the poor small one. Carwin saying I think it should I be know, the little well, it purple looks one. Evil, doesn't it? I think it's the, the, that's the troublemaker oh. of, the, of the group, you know. Well, um, what did you see when I was trying to make that video? I think the others will probably be quite happy to see it go. <laughs> it's winking at me. <laughs> oh, blimey. I, I don't know yet. See it saying, yes, I am evil. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we, we totally underestimated the, the generosity of the, the UK reseller community and we've been donating so much stuff. But that is the plan at the, mo at the moment. Sunday auction off live, a load of stuff. We will have a few guests on again and then Facebook auction and then the raffle for the for the stuff that's left over, which will include. Oh, Sam says mini. she'll make herself available if you need her to come on. Yes. Oh, Sam's got a great item. I'm sure you've seen it already in the Facebook group. So let's crack on. Do you want to start with some stuff? Because you yeah, have more than we start me. with this one. <laughs> I'm saying nothing. <laughs> so this is the one that um, Nick kindly modelled. <laughs> if, you, if you're not on Instagram, then you need to go over and have a look because it's something quite special. Um, yeah, it's a it's minuet um, petite. That's the label there. Um, nothing amazingly special other than the fact that Nick wore it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, well, it was warm, it I was cold and it was warm. That was, yeah. All. I'm gonna try because it's such it's faux fur, faux suede, really gorgeous pattern, sort of tapestry style. So, I'm gonna list that for 30, 25 to 30. Oh, Stephen Steph, and I saw someone say hello, yeah. hey, you crazy cats, yes. <laughs> What did I miss? We were just talking about the auction and uh, what we've been yeah. up to. And Nick's new modelling career. Yeah, I'm on Instagram modelling women's clothing, but, you know, nothing new. So that, how much yeah. were you paying on these? Uh, three pounds each on everything. Okay. Um, apart from a couple randomly, because I went back and looked a second time and there was somebody different and they charged me less. <laughs> so, but yeah, I The jacket three, suits. Three Have you seen pounds. the picture? The, my my arms were sticking out like about yeah, that well, much. Yeah, it's, it's a petite range anyway. So you've got mega long arms and you're tall. Put as worn by Nick Hills in the title, says Cohen. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> so that was your first. Have you looked these up? Have you got any yeah, idea? Yeah, I'm listing it um, between 25 and 30. Okay. And um, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I have to say I always start high on everything. So I have started high on everything that I've bought. And if it doesn't go, 
then I just mark it down after a few weeks. Yeah. Well, it makes sense doing it that way. You've got nothing yeah. to lose starting high. I mean, the way I do it, it is I, I search what the thing is and I look at highest price first. And I think, well, if somebody else got that, maybe I can. So I give it a go. <laughs> What's the comments? Uh, all sorts. <laughs> Nick, would you like to be referred to as he, she or they? You can call, <laughs> you can call me whatever you like. How tall am I? Uh, just over six foot, I believe. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Bit of a bit of a bean pole. Right. So that was that one. Yeah, so that's that one. I don't know. Do you want me to plough through it? Yeah, do a couple and then I can okay. mix it up with a bit um, of my stuff. Okay, so I've got a vintage Laura Ashley. I'll show you this label because it'll come out better. Vintage Laura Ashley. And um, I'm going to have to refer to my drafts now just to tell you what I've so what oh, Karen, Karen was saying that there, who guested on our tat chat, and it was a wonderful chat. Thanks for joining us. She says, I always do, as in aim high, and almost choke when it sells first cycle. Yeah, I know. Well, you've, you've got to take the chance, haven't you? Because yeah. if it does, I always put out offers on it as well. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Does anybody know what sort of um, time period that is? If it's that 90s or late 80s? I wasn't sure. Um, but anyway, um, I'm going for between 30 and 40 on that one. Okay. So what is this little suit jacket? Yeah, Almost just a little blazer. Thing. Wow. Yeah. And then I've got a modern Laura Ashley, which is corduroy. And these were either three or two pounds, yeah? Some were yeah. three, some were two. I think that was two, actually. Okay. Where are you putting these? So I'm just stacking them over, over here. They'll probably all collapse in a minute. Oh, I quite like this one. You showed yeah, me this one. Yeah, this is a um, just a modern Laura Ashley, and it's so grey corduroy. The difference in the label. So this one's modern, up to date, yeah. Yeah. So I'm listing that for less um, between twenty twenty five on that one, but corduroy is you know very much in at the moment, and um, I'm hoping that all. It's corduroy like trendy, it's is it? It's trendy, yeah. Oh. Trendy for autumn winter. Yeah, uh, um, BCP, is that just over six foot with or without your heels on? With my heels on, I'd say, yeah, an, an extra three or four inches. Well, yeah. it depends how high your heels are. Yeah, if I get my special ones out, then then you're talking. <laughs> yes. Nick, um, please put the jacket on and say, I'm a love machine. Oh, my God, do you remember that? That was in the game, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm sitting here going, I'm a love machine. <laughs> I'm a love machine. Maybe at the end, Steve. Stick around. Yeah. Um, this brand I've never heard of. Don't even know if I could pronounce it. Artigiano, something like that. Um, but it's cashmere mix. Um, camel blazer jacket. Um, so I picked that one up and I've listed that for 25 to 30. Yeah, not so keen on that one, I'll be honest. Well, I mean, it's quite plain, but it's cashmere mix and... Um, cashmere does well so um this one was a bit of a find it is land's end and it's brand new with its tag um it was originally a hundred pounds although you can see it's been marked down in the sale yeah. um so i've tried 50 on that the lowest pounds. on the sale was 50 so i thought well i might as well try that <laughs> yeah do you think you'd cross out the sale prices yeah, I I don't know if you can because it just people will see that you've crossed yeah. it out for a reason. So, so Land's End is a is a decent brand. Yeah, then? Land's Obviously End is quite it's an expensive brand. Quite pricey originally. Yeah. And that's what again a blazer thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, brand new, unworn, still got its um spare buttons. <laughs> no, it was a bit so. of a bun fight at this uh, jumble, wasn't it? We got there an hour early, and we yeah. well we turned up, and there was two people in the queue, and we're like wow, we're going to be third in the queue. And we stood outside in the rain for a while with our brolly. <laughs> yeah. Well, we were actually tucked up under the eaves of this little, like, church hall, well, school hall place. Yeah. And then we realised they'd been letting people in and there was about 30 people huddled in the, like, little entranceway. <laughs> so, yeah, we yeah. were thinking we'd done quite well. But, I mean, yeah, 
we were quite, you know, we were fairly I, early. I couldn't and... get to anything. When it started, I just couldn't reach stuff. Yeah. It was just mayhem. Mm -hmm. And I didn't buy a lot in the Well, end. it was absolutely throwing it down with rain, wasn't it? Yeah. It was really bad. And um, normally they have about half of the jumble sale outside in the car park. And the, all the best clothing, what they deem to be the best clothing, is all usually in a tent outside so i just head straight outside and then i thought oh where is it you know the toys were out there shoes were everything else i was thinking what they've done with all the clothes perhaps they haven't got it this time and i came in and realized they'd <coughs> set it all up in the middle um on two rails so i just kind of swept my way through the rail and i had like a stack up here i've got a few looks <laughs> uh james but, says yeah. am i the only bloke that would rather look at car parts than clothing. I'm sure you're not. Sorry, I'm well, sure well, we. I'm sure we bore a lot of people with thing our is, car I don't, parts. I don't well. have any car parts to show you, but well, I do have some media. We'll we'll switch it up. This in a is sec. my last blazer, so then we'll we'll switch it up and do some media. But yeah, this is Jaeger. You can see the label there. There's a question um, for you just there. I saw. Okay. Uh, Hi, Andrea, that one, Sean. Oh, Sean Shoe Girl says, Hi, Andrea, how do you get them listed so quickly? I've spent all afternoon taking photos of shoes but haven't managed to list them yet. Need to speed up. Sean, I am the slowest lister in the universe. <laughs> I'm probably slower than you. I've drafted them. I haven't actually made them live yet and I haven't taken any photos. So, yeah, I spent this, the afternoon drafting everything so I could get prices on it, but I haven't actually made them live yet. So yeah that's my answer i'm just i'm yeah and i drive nick mad because painfully slow i'm painfully slow at everything to be oh fair. hallelujah everything. yes you are <laughs> i've driven my family mad since birth <laughs> ellen is very similar she drives us mad now i've got my karma back <laughs> back to me we went to stay at my sister's didn't we for the weekend last was it last weekend time flies oh yeah and like they're the complete opposite. They're like, oh, let's go out. Let's go down to the beach. Yeah, they're like, let's take a shower out in five minutes. Ready. Let's got their coats. And on. I'm let's like, well, we've beach. just got to wait for Andrew and Ellen to get ready. So um, Aaron, my brother in law, I, like... I take 15 minutes to get myself dressed, washed, and put a little bit of makeup on. No, I do. I timed it. It was 15 minutes. After five minutes, you were all shouting at me, are you ready? And I'm like, well, yes i'm just brushing my but, teeth but then we had to wait for ellen for an hour so but yeah. ellen's worse and yeah and now i appreciate what i put my family through but i can't help it i'm just that way you can help it i can't it. help it I, I think that 15 minutes is quite an improvement on what i used to be get ready in the morning okay actually um i didn't say what i uh, was going to list that jaeger for um 20 um i've put offers on of 15 and above James says, we don't have any jumble sales around me in Derbyshire. Is there any particular websites you go on to find out when and where? Um, Facebook is good for yeah, that. Um, Google, like a town and jumble sale, you, you might have some results. Local papers, yeah. local notice boards. The few that we go to, some are regular, aren't they? Yeah. So we, we just know because we found ones that are regularly. on regularly and they give us like dates for future ones. Yeah. The one that we're going to the week the weekend on saturday is every year and it's the filler bag one which we love oh, yeah. it's like pay five pounds for a bin sack and you can just fill it you don't have you know it's not individually priced you can just stuff stuff in it and it's it's crazy it's brilliant but you have to be quick <laughs> so i you went straight for the cloak the decent clothing rail yeah. and hoovered up all the coats and jackets and stuff yeah i went straight into the well, I tried to go straight for toys, could not even reach the table. There was just a wall of people, mm. all resellers. And then I so I went straight into... Including your sister. Yeah, my sister. <laughs> Richard, if you're watching, was there. I think he did quite well. And um, so I went straight into the, ele the electronics, and there was just not much in there. There's usually a few gems in there. Um, but I did pick up a little Minolta. This is Minolta Reva Zoom 125. Uh, I've looked at uh, completeds on eBay between 15 and 30. 30 was the top this went for. This is really, really nice example. There's not a scratch on it. It's got some original little case, which does help. 
there's no instructions with it unfortunately so somewhere between 20 and 30 i should be able to achieve on that hopefully so that was okay and i paid one pound 50. um also in the electronics room it's all split up into there's there's a media room there's bric-a-brac clothing and there's like a shit um like, like a gazebo outside for bulky stuff isn't there and the yeah. shoes are outside and there's a toy tent it's and then there's another it. room right out the back with electronics in which i went to the only other thing i picked up in there was this and although it's been opened at the top it was never used this is all still sealed at either end we checked while we were there we got it out didn't we had a good look and it's a canon um what do you call it toner cartridge this is a canon a30 and i reckon i should be able to get about 30 pounds back on that mm. uh toner cartridges can be great but not all of them like most things so do a little bit of research if you're going to spend much money this was only a couple of pounds so i i didn't look it up i just went for it um, can I just say a couple of things? Um, thank you, Karen, for sending me that link. I'll have a look at that in a minute. Um, and also, Lisa wanted to know the size of this. It's a UK 14. Marcella just logging in. Hills couple therapy <laughs> session. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Karen, so jealous. Oh, what of the oh, clothes? No, the jumble sale, I think. Ah, okay. Yeah, they are good fun. It changes your attitude when you get the filler bag, doesn't it? It's kind of like everyone's just a bit manic. Mm. Well, yeah, jumble really sales, norm you normally And, norm, and you yeah. pick up stuff that you wouldn't normally either because you feel like it's free, but it's not because you paid £5 for the bag. Yeah, it's very odd. Uh, Fritz, hey, Fritz. I visited three thrift shops today came home with only three things i noticed that i'm getting more and more picky before buying anything it's not a bad thing buy less quality items it's something i've been trying to do for a while i'm not sure i'm achieving it um mass good question did your deal for the world war ii photos go through no it didn't i had an offer that i accepted uh it was a very reasonable offer and it fell through he he backed down in the end so they have been they're on a shelf just up here somewhere can't see them now i've had a tidy up did you notice um but i think i'm going to put them in a specialist auction but when i'll get around to that i don't know we were talking about maybe taking a day trip to an auction weren't we and yeah. and speaking to them getting it appraised and put into an auction okay so that laura ashley vintage one looks like it's 90s thank you karen cool Karen sells clothes. Missing my next filler bag for a pound as I'm in Lanzarote. Ah, oh, the Canaries. We like it over there. And Steve's over there at the minute. Yeah. I saw his his vlog today. Um, he took what was left of his father's ashes to spread on the sand dunes out there. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's quite emotional. Yeah. Right. I picked up a bunch of media. You know me. I like my media. Nothing amazing, really. The CDs and DVDs were all five for two pounds. Um, this I'll probably keep because I... Oh, actually, did I find one of them for myself? Smashing Pumpkins. This is the double disc version of the best of, um, which I actually think now I may have a copy of. Have I got that? Is it in the car or something? I love I it. I think you do. You borrowed one of Darren and then... I gave that back. Yeah, yeah. I think you've got your own copy now. Sealed Rubber Soul. Ooh. Nice. Uh, should get between five and seven pounds for it sealed. And who doesn't know what that is? Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. Um, yeah, second hand, not a lot, but I was happy to pick it up. Yeah. Uh, a sealed DVD, which I think is worth about five or six pounds. Unfortunately, I think I've done this getting it home. Yeah. The case has got crushed. Yeah. So what do you do? Do you unseal you it to, yeah. and then replace the case and maybe say it's brand new but unsealed? Mm. It's not a film I know. It's obviously a French foreign language thing, I guess. That's a shame. Etre et avoir. Um, George asks, what's the coolest thing you picked up? Oh, I didn't pick up anything cool. <laughs> <laughs> Your clothes are... Oh, no, yeah. the records. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, shall I do it, finish this little pile? If you like. 
Vicar Dibley. Don't know how many times I've had this. Let me just close the blind. Supreme close up on <laughs> Vicar <of> Dibley. <laughs> Um, there's two versions of this. There's a white box one and this. I think the white box one tends to fetch more. Uh, it may have extras on, like the Christmas specials or something. I'm not sure. Oh, no, that has got the Christmas specials. Anyway, um, I think these still do well. It's been a while. can't remember what they sell for, but that was. Um, the individual ones were, like I said, five for two pounds, wasn't it? But mm. that, I think they did me for a couple of quid, which was well worth it. Happy to pay that. These were ha happened to be on the on the toy store. There was actually a, a random bunch of media there, and they were doing them at twenty pence each. Star Wars box set, not a whole lot of value, five to six pounds, I would imagine. And Simpsons twelve should get a fiver out of that. And then there was this, which was oddly on the toy stall as well, which was twenty p. Um, it's an Italian course, so language course. Uh, it's on CD with two books. It's all in there, lovely condition. Um, I briefly searched this before. I think it was about 18, 19 pounds somebody had got plus shipping on that. So that was worth going on for 20p. I was just reading. I um, think, where has it gone now? What? Gone away. Hayley's House. Is it Hayley's House? Um, talking about how many spanners we've got. We just had an evening one day where everyone was like, I'll be a spanner. So we were just making loads of people uh, moderators and spanners. So that's yeah. why there's so many. <laughs> Plus, I made a few more spanners when we had the auction because for some reason that attracted a load of idiots. Yeah. So we were, I was randomly making people spanners um, and they did a wonderful job. Uh, you say you don't pick up anything cool, but you did manage to get a game that enables you you to get a new car i'm not saying i never pick up anything <laughs> cool um we do quite often but i my stuff's fairly average apart from the record collection which i think is quite fun um shall i carry on or do you want to do the, your um, clothes i could do a few more if you like yeah. um hi kirsten and hi tom they've just joined us hey did you schedule the uh sunday i was telling people the the sunday auction i was telling people it's going to be at six so we need to get that scheduled so people can st start sharing the link that's yeah. not easy to we, say we definitely need to start earlier just in you know because yeah well tom, <laughs> tom and i said the same just got yeah. so much to get through right this coat is absolutely gorgeous but i've absolutely no idea what this brand is i just picked it up because it felt so lovely and it's really heavy and i don't know if you can put that close so people can see what, what it is it? well you can model it if you like so like, this is like a trench coat it's this is... really heavy it really feels heavy. like I've had um, military uniforms in the past, and it feels that sort of weight. Yeah, and it's got a hood. <laughs> Short sleeves, obviously. <laughs> oh gosh, like it's a, like a dressing it's gown. Like a dressing it? gown belt. Yeah, it's a smoking jacket. <laughs> Hang on, no, it's a Jedi yeah. outfit. That's what it is. It's a Jedi outfit. <laughs> I need a. I need a. Yeah. You'll have to put one in post-production. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I bought a Jedi outfit. <laughs> it's really, really soft, isn't it? Use the force. <laughs> I try. It's rather... Oh, my God, it's warm. Yeah. I feel like... So it just felt like really good quality and lovely. So it might be really like just a... I don't know. It is really Star Wars, isn't it? It's very Star Wars. Sith Hills, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so hi, Lex. I've, I've no idea. It was... Um, the the cross-dressing has only just started. I, I can't even... I can't even pronounce it. Aim, Amelia, but spelt really strangely. I feel like Liam Neeson. I, I think it must be like... It's either like a Chinese brand or it's like European or something. But anyway, I didn't know what it was, but it, I love it. It's, really it's a bit soft, like you know when box warm. you know when boxers come out for a big fight and they're in one of them <laughs> and they're getting all yeah but imagine know. how cozy you'd be on a on a cold winter's day. See yeah. it, it does oh look the poppers come off. Just realised hmm? the poppers come off. Oh that's not uh, good. That's not good at all, is it? I'm really? sure you could find a replacement. Yeah, you probably could. Anyway, um, I'm so anyway, uh, before I realised the popper had come off, I drafted it for um twenty nine ninety nine. 
but I might have to put it for less now or find a replacement popper. But yeah, suits you, dear. <laughs> um, this one is gorgeous. Um, really expensive brand. I looked online on their online shop and their, their clothes are like two to three hundred pounds, their coats. Um, size on that one. Did it have a size? No. It's got no labels in it whatsoever, apart from the tag that says Amelia. So I'll have to measure it. Darren says, I never remember the Sith having issues with their poppers. I think it's more Jedi, that. <laughs> Obi, Nick Kenobi. <laughs> and Jedi's had loads of popper trouble. Yeah, so this is a beautiful coat. It is Icelandic design, uh, which I think is it? an American brand. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, it's very monsoon in its look. The um, flowers and ribbons on it are silk. The trim is silk. And this is new, new pure wool or pure new wool. I always get that mixed up. Obi Nick Kenobi. <laughs> Karen says um, I'd be cheeky and try for 45. Oh, I was thinking 30, but oh, I don't know. You, you've got yeah. to go with it now. You've got, to, anyway, go, you've got one, to go 45 now. This one I'm going to try for 70 and put best off. 70? Yeah, I've, as I said in my preamble. Sorry, I wasn't really um, listening. Shall I wear it? Brand new. Uh, two to three hundred pounds. So, really? Yeah. Holy crap! What? And you paid three? I paid three pounds. <laughs> oh no 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 no! And that's that's, gr that's Granny Nick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that, coming straight. That go well with your trolley. <laughs> I quite I quite like the Jedi look, but that that's just no, no, that's not happening. No. It does feel quality though. I must say, it's got a really yeah. silky lining and all that. It's gorgeous. Uh, when I first picked up, I thought it was monsoon, but it's not so you did well there then yeah definitely on that one i love that one um i'll do this one and then you can share some more of your we, stuff this one is karen millen just quickly james we talked about the furbies earlier um the chris who paid for them all and won them has said that one furby is all he requires to take the flak the rest may get a reprieve you'll have to tune in on sunday and the one who is biting the dust is going to happen soon. I'm going to make a video. Yeah, I've got some dresses here, Lex. Um, Nick can model those later. <laughs> Just got a few, uh, four dresses I picked up as well, which I'll show in a minute. I'm not wearing dresses live on on Tinternet. <laughs> you can you hold Co them up against yourself, coats don't I you? can like handle. The ball gowns. Um, this is Karen Millen. <clears throat> you see that? Um, not a lot to say about it very sort of that's quite nice nice though. lovely coat it's got a belt here yeah it's got oh belt right it. yeah like a waist belt yeah um and i've drafted that for 80 pounds i'll see if that suits oh no i'm not sure so we'll go. <laughs> go on. I'm the one where nick tries on all the coats i've got one that you oh, oh, oh. yeah well i was measuring it so i did it up <laughs> yeah so um oh Ooh, don't crap. break it that's all right it's only there Oh, that's all right. Oh, yeah, actually, that quite suits you. It's quite military looking, isn't it? Yeah, I do like military stuff. I had a yeah. jacket, didn't I, not long ago that was a bit like this? Yeah, I think you still got it somewhere. I used to wear a military style jacket. Yeah, yeah, that actually quite suits this you. This isn't very, it's, it's not all that feminine, is it? Um, well, these so here's are a bit... in. Hi, so here. <laughs> I don't quite, I don't like that bit. No, but you can do that. Oh, there you go. That is really military. Yeah. Just need my stripes. Yeah. yeah I Actually, like I put military in the keyword. Um, I, that fits there, me I'll perfectly. I'll show one more because, you know, this is definitely one you've got to try on. Why? This one I absolutely love. I tried it on as soon as you, I got you home. You try one on. I did. <laughs> you've already tried them all, have you? This one. Look at this. Hold on. It's only Peruna. It's obviously faux fur. Look how gorgeous this is. You don't need to donate for me to wear dresses, Lainey Ray. <laughs> you want to try the faux fur coat on? I'll, I'll be sweating buckets for oh, no, keep don't that sweat on for in long. it. I want to sell it. <laughs> so, how much is do you reckon you can get for this? For that one, I've listed it for 60. It's just Marks and Spencer's hair, but how gorgeous is that? That is beautiful. It's, it's like in the early days of the Mannix when, uh, when the random used to wear. Big fur coats. I'm sure Nicky Wire or Richie used to 
Yeah. Lex will know. <laughs> It's Nick gorgeous, in a dress or I'll cry. This is about what as good size? as you're going to get. I think it's medium. That's, that is that's so it warm. Said. That is insanely warm. It just says medium, Lisa. So I don't know. I haven't actually measured it yet. So <sighs> I've got one more coat. Actually, Nick sure. the pimp. That was a pimp jacket, wasn't it? Oh, it totally was. Actually. Oh, my it's very, word. Very Snoop Dogg. Cruella the Nick. <laughs> Nicky Y, Alex said. Oh, was it Nick? Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. I knew it was one of them. No, it's um, Nick Hills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You said that like you wear them anyway, Nick. Like, there's no, you know, need to donate. Yeah, um, Heather <laughs> says, oh, Nick, that coat really suits you, sir. <laughs> what, that big fur one? Yeah. Faux fur. Gorgeous. I preferred that military one. Yeah, that was more your style. Definitely. I would I would wear something like that. Yeah, I've just got one left, one coat left, and then I'll show you the dresses later. Um, this is kind of a like a, a sweater jacket, or a... <laughs> I'm not I, hmm, no, <laughs> because it's really sort of thin. It feels like a jumper. Um, it's Coleco. Um, I can't remember Coleco. what I listed that for. Oh. Yeah, it feels really lovely. Calico. I just loved the raised pattern on it. What would you call that? Because it's it's a hundred percent wool. What would you call that sort of raised um, knitted pattern into it? I I don't know. I was, I was searching for a keyword for it, but I couldn't think if anyone knows. Um, because it feels kind of three D, doesn't it? A little bit. Um, gone for twenty five on that. Right. Yeah. So that's my coats. I was quite pleased with my coats. Textured, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Cake icing, says Stephen. <laughs> Similar. Hayes are here. Yeah, we're, we're not trying to compete with your Maze Balls uh, haul the other night. <laughs> um, Marcella says, Andrea, did you marry Nick because he's the right size to model your clothes? Yeah. Yeah, you've got your uses, haven't you? <laughs> Who needs a mannequin when you've got a skinny bloke around? Um, yeah. Right. Is that apart from those hanging up? Is that, yeah, apart is that from you that, done? I haven't actually drafted those, so I've got any prices. Um, so all I really bought, apart from my box of records, I'm thinking I might just do a, I might come on late one evening and, and go through that box of records because there's some, I think there's some gems in there. Um, so apart from that, I found a box of software the thing with jumble sales is you don't really have time to think. If you don't grab it, the person behind you will, or the person behind that. It's just a scrum. So I basically found a box with a load of Xbox, we uh, a few Xbox One titles in, and just grabbed the lot. Um, they were worked out at forty pence each. So it's kind of grab and ask questions later sort of thing. I did before I paid check that they had discs in, two of which didn't. So there's a Just Dance 2 there, no disc, and Sonic Black Knight, no disc. Um, but they let me keep those as spare cases anyway, which are always really handy. And I'll just run through here. Nothing really to write home about. Marianne Sonic Winter Olympic Games, a sealed, but it's only uh, FIFA South Africa World Cup 2010. Um, I did scan some of these briefly into Amazon, where I think most of this will go. Uh, about £15 on that. I don't think Sonic's worth a great deal anymore. Mario Party 8 is still a, quite a decent title. I think on Amazon I'll probably shoot for about 15 Um A couple of missing manuals, but I think the Wii stuff's pretty good. That I will probably run through my disc repair machine. It's got a few light marks on it. Um, Harry Potter, this is the, is it Phoenix? Yeah, still has some value. I'm going to send that one into Amazon. Can't remember now what prices were. 15 to 20, I'll probably shoot for on that. Blazing Angels isn't all that. The Xbox One titles, like I said, it was a case of grab it and buy it or somebody else will think about it later. Unfortunately, they were only, uh, what's this, 2K, 15 worth three or four quid if i'm lucky and fifa 17 and 16. now stuart my one of my brother-in-laws has bought an xbox one hasn't he mm. so for what these are worth i'll probably just give them to him if he wants them if you're watching stuart give me a call um 
F1 2009, which surprisingly is holding a little bit of value still on Amazon anyway. Black Ops, nothing really there. That's quite a nice title. Sonic Seg All Stars Racing, I think Amazon 10 to 15 again. Uh, another All Stars game, but this is WWE All Stars. They brought back like the Hulk and stuff for this. That's quite a cool game. Still sells quite a good rank. And then the Xbox One 360. Destiny, not really worth bothering with. FIFA Street, hardly worth bothering with. But Minecraft still sells. Annoyingly, no manual, and it's quite scratched. So this will have to go through the disc repair machine for a couple of minutes. You're not going to see. There you go. Bit filthy. Um, but yeah, Minecraft's worth picking up. So that was it for software. Karen said, how much did you pay for them all, Nick? Uh, 40 pence each. Um can't remember what it was in total. Yeah, and Caroline's in. Hi, Caroline. Uh, Zahir says FIFA Street is a fun game, though. I remember FIFA Street, the first one coming out, when PS2 was the main console, when we had our gaming shop, and we sold piles of that. People were waiting for that to be released. Um, and also, Kay asked if we could give a shout-out to Holly because she's watching. So, hi, Holly. Hello, Holly. Uh, Bianca, Nick, do you buy them only if they have no scratches? In the past... Generally, yes, unless they, I knew it was a particularly rare game that was worth me paying to have repaired. Now I have a disc repair machine, which I need to do a video showing you guys how that works. Um, I, I buy them regardless, pretty much. And it's really freed me up on media. Um, I didn't look at any of the discs when I was buying those. I did check they were in there. Um, but yeah. Now I've got the disc repair machine, you know, a couple of minutes and I can turn the disc back to new. Not in all cases. If it's got deep scratches, mm. some of those that you can't get out no matter what you do. Yeah. Uh, the Busy Bee reseller says, um, Nick, what disc repair machine it's, do you oh use? Oh, God, I can't remember the name of it now. JFJ Easy Pro. Oh, what's that? JFJ Easy, Easy Pro. Pro. And uh, Marcella says, are all things tech region specific no <laughs> if you're talking about video games most disc based games yes pretty much all disc based games you've got power now ntsc different region codings on them um but with cartridge based stuff like ds game boy those are not region coded but just to add a spanner in the works things like n64 snares are it's yeah you need to do your research and look into it and lex says can you use the machine on blu-rays and ps3 yeah um so ntsc games will play in a power console and vice versa no i don't think they do oh hi krillin krillin super chatted thank hey. you for that um says hey nick any concerts coming up i'm going to see johnny marr and nine inch nails next week not the same night <laughs> well, i was gonna say, gonna say wow <laughs> that's a quite johnny a... marr and nine inch nails <laughs> what a, a combination what a pairing um i don't have anything coming up have we have i got anything coming up no but no. you're going gigging again with ellen oh kind of because you're coming with me to see lucy silvers oh we are going to see lucy silvers who i'm sure many of you won't know who we're talking about she was um, big in the early 2000s. She was. She's bigger in America now. She's a songwriter. She lives in Nashville with her husband. And she's sort of big on more on the country scene, but she's not really country. She's kind of more singer songwriter. Folk pop. Yeah. Maybe. Where are we going to see that? It's a little venue. Um, yeah. It's a place called the Courtyard Theatre. Never been there. Looks tiny. North London? Yeah, somewhere like that. That's all I've got lined up. And then Ellen is going to see 21 Pilots. Twice next year. Twice again. She's yeah. already seen them on this tour. We're going. I'm going to see Years and Years with her in December. Yeah. Like a couple of days after Lucy Silvers. <laughs> oh, good Lord. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, da, 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 oh, she's da. also going to see Dodie again, isn't she? At the Roundhouse. Oh, Ellen is, yeah. yeah. But yeah, not for us. We're um <laughs> Okay. We need to find some more gigs to go to. Pete is going to see next concert is a German metal band called Caliban in London on the first of December. And then Enter Shikari 
Yeah, they were a local band to us. Yeah. That they formed around here from St Albans, I believe. Yeah. Okay. And Lex says, who's going to Glasgow? Not us, because we didn't even try to get tickets. We That was our plan for next year. Yeah, but then um, we started talking about other things. We're, gonna we're, do, we're, so. we're spending all our money going to, to Euro Disney <laughs> for Ellen's uh, birthday next year. That's that's the new plan. So maybe Glasgow the next year. Oh, Karen says she'd love to go to more concerts, but she's damaged her eardrum. Can, can you get like ear defenders that you can put in your ears? Does that help? I see people wearing them. We've both got quite bad tinnitus. I've got terrible tinnitus. It's... From a misspent youth of standing at the front of Carter gigs and stuff in my instance. Yeah, I don't think I just put my headphones on too loud when I was younger. But I've also birthed this eardrum burst when I was at university. So that one's, you know, not great. Can't hear much out of it. Um, Purple Vamp says, my daughter saw Dodie in Brighton. She wanted me to go, but I got out of it. My husband got the short straw. Dodie's really good. I've seen her twice now, and she's great. Yeah, yeah. I really like Dodie. Don't knock Dodie. I, I would have gone, but I feel like she's 17 it, at the end of this month, and, you know, I'm going to start cramping her style <laughs> going to her gigs with her. So I thought I'd better let her and her friend go on their own this Lisa, time. Lisa would love to see Muse. I was a huge Muse yeah. fan for their first – before they were big, I was, I was – really into Muse and then their second album Origin of Symmetry I absolutely adored and then slowly but surely I kind of the bigger they got the less interest I had in them it was kind of a common theme with me but yeah I do like Muse still the earlier stuff more um, um okay Marcella says um will you post the um house or do local pickup no it's think, so, yeah, it's so said. fragile anyway and it's so bulky I think I'm going to try that on local pickup I think when we bought it we actually had it delivered yeah. Didn't we? But we did, yeah. I'm going to try and sell it local, uh, see how I get on. Yeah. Oh, Karen has tinnitus too. Yeah, my yeah. dad suffers from it. We both have it. Yeah. Standing next to speakers in clubs as a teenager. Karen. Oh, misspent youth again. Right. <laughs> She's a dark so, horse. <laughs> yeah. Um, did you have more clothes? Or I've only you... got those dresses. All That's right. It. Well, have a look at your dresses and then we'll have okay. a quick rummage in the record I don't know I'm going to list box. these out because I haven't actually researched these yet. Um, but I'll show you what I've got. Oh, talking about music. Uh, we, ha we are so passionate about music and I know a lot of people love to talk about it. I was laying in bed not being able to sleep last night and I want to do like a, a pop quiz soon just, just for fun, just where I'm asking questions and the first to answer it gets points and I'll keep track of the points. Just, a, you know, one evening soon. So, yeah, if you're up for it. Yeah. We used to do uh, local uh, I, I quizzes. Know. I, well, we stuff. went out for birthdays, birthday drinks, didn't we, with your sister and her husband because their birthdays are the day after each other. And um, we used to do pop quiz with them, but then obviously they had their twins, so quite difficult to get out now. But now the twins are five. So mm. when are we going to start doing the pop quiz again? Because we really, really miss it. Oh, who so saw Florence? I, I was getting back into Florence again recently. We saw Florence and Machine earlier this year. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry, I'll just read. Who's that? Ad Edendry? I'm not reading that right, am I? Ah, uh, Lisa, yeah. I liked the earlier stuff more too. Nick, Origin of Symmetry is an amazing album. Yeah, for me, that was their pinnacle. Um. Lex, did you read Lex's comment? That's what made me laugh. I have tinnitus, says Lex, but it sounds a lot like voices telling me to murder people. Oh, dear. <laughs> Yay, Nick, in a dress time. I did not sign up for wearing these dresses. No, I don't think you're going to We'll wear see this. what happens. Um, yeah, okay. So people are saying yes to the pop quiz. Would love a pop quiz. I don't know how it would work with me trying to keep track of who's got points. But we'll have a go. Caroline says, unless it's about fizzy pop. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, is that Caroline or Phil? One or the other? It's Welcome. Caroline, she said. Yeah. How about a metal quiz instead? I don't know a great deal about metal. Oh, that, sorry, that's interesting. Karen said, my brother-in-law suffers from tinnitus, tinnitus due to a brain tumour, but he's lowered his salt intake and it's helped a lot. Really? Mm. Who knew? Yeah. Never knew that. <laughs> learn right. something new every day go for it what have we got right okay so this is a apricot it's um brand new with its tag still and it's just a linen dress 
that are just a linen kind of shirt dress uh tunic type thing so what so, were you paying um, on the dresses that was three pounds okay everything was three pounds on the rail all right so, i mean uh, being as it's new tags i thought it was worth doing this one's lovely um if we can get it off the hanger this one is monsoon and it's brand new <coughs> tags again and the price on it originally was 60 pounds or 59 pounds wow so yeah that should uh -huh. be a nice one to resell <laughs> <laughs> i can't resist when it comes to it i can't resist not my colors <laughs> and um, that's quite nice though. i do like that one then again that's laura ashley just a modern laura ashley but it's a nice sort of warm Win, autumn winter pencil dress so pencil dress yeah why do they call that a pencil dress because it's kind of straight and you know if, if, if i always think if it looks like a pencil skirt it's a pencil dress don't ask me it's my thinking might be wrong i just wear them at the weekend <laughs> and only one more if so sorry if i'm boring people um this was white stuff oh, can you show that yep label um just again another warm sort of autumn winter dress white stuff oh there's a yeah. white stuff in town here isn't there yeah not high street yeah it's quite an expensive brand so. oh that's more like it <laughs> <laughs> that's more your color is that more me i think yeah, so I think so oh it's got pockets it brings out your eyes Oh, it's got pockets. I like it now. Oh, yeah. I love a pocket. For some reason, um, very blogger trend, pockets sell clothes. Yeah? Yeah. Bloggers love pockets. I can see why. I love a pocket. Oh, <laughs> what's in here? They're very practical. You never guess keep what's... your hands warm. You'll never guess what's in here. Your hand. <laughs> You've lived with me for too long. <laughs> yeah, so that's it. That was my epic haul. Golden Nugget, I know I'm behind in the chat. Golden Nugget 56, do you sell as new or used? Whatever the condition is, I guess. If I if it's something's new with tags, I will sell it as new with tags. Yeah. 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 Um, Stephen Moore would love the pop quiz. Yeah, let's do that. That would be so much fun. Mm -hmm. Used to love the Human League. Oh, my God, we both love the Human League. Yeah. I, had, I remember having the giant gatefold version of Dare in about whenever that was 88 something i saw them live at top of, of the pops Did but you? that was on their sort of octopus yeah sort their, of their sort of 90s come 92 yeah 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 i was at university at the time was it tell me when yes there you go yeah high five which is a good song don't leave me hanging <laughs> um yeah okay we'll, we'll do the pop quiz some points uh, at some point Yes, people loving the human uh, league. Death by Glamour would really like us to do a metal <laughs> pop quiz. Might throw a bit of metal in there. Stephen Steph. Nick, you are a breath of fresh air when it comes to male models. You really are a love machine. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I interviewed Octopus. Octopus was the album that Human League released. Who were Octopus the band? I don't remember no, Octopus no, the band. I don't. Wow um charlie harrison is that a minecraft behind you that is oh have you just joined us yeah I, i've got a load of software at the um jumble um nothing really exciting and the minecraft is missing the manual and it's scratched up so i've got to repair it but yeah karen says love human league my first love was duran duran that was my first ever cassette i purchased says oh. karen wow what was your first ever album you bought yourself? Did we? I think we answered. We'll have to do another <laughs> yeah, Q&A on. I have answered this. It's quite sad, really. It was Kylie. Oh, really? Um, enjoy yourself. Nice. <laughs> my first ever album. But I... it wasn't the first album I owned. It was the first one I'd bought for myself with my own money. Yeah, I kind of inherited my mum's vinyl from the 60s. She had, she had some Beatles LPs and Beach Boys and stuff. And then... Um, first album i went out and bought i bunked off school and bought pet shop boys actually on cassette still one of my favorite albums okay lex says i love kylie it's not sad we saw yeah, your well, video she's, um, I, yeah she's 
Well, she's trendy again now. She's kitsch and people love her. But back then, it was kind of a bit sad. She's an icon. <laughs> I was into my um, stock ache in the Waterman pop music. Yeah. But I've got such an eclectic mix. I love a bit of metal. I love a bit of pop. You know, I just, yeah. Yeah, if you put Andrew's very like... broad music taste. When we had all your stuff on an iPod and we used to put it on shuffle <laughs> in the car, it would go Marilyn Manson, Celine Dion. <laughs> the Jacksons. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, yeah. what are we listening to? Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah, it's really weird. Crazy. Um, okay, so I said earlier I bought some vinyl. Now, I got to this box a little bit too late. There was a guy next to me um, who had been through just about all of it by the time I got there. And yeah. I, I got chatting with him. He'd found some really nice Queen uh, picture sleeve early stuff some really nice Beatles EPs and stuff. Um, so we had a chat and then he left and I had a rummage. I did, they were like, what are they, 10p each, 20p each, something like that, or a bundle or so for a pound. So I picked out a bunch of Bowie and some other bits and bobs that I thought were interesting. And then I went back right at the end, didn't we? And I was rummaging again. We both had a good look through it and reminisced about some stuff we remembered. There's some 80s in here, but it goes back to the 60s. Um, and then I just said to them, it, it was winding down at that point. I said, do you want to just get rid of the box? And we agreed on a fiver. So I must have about a hundred. I bought like five or six earlier on for a pound or whatever it was. Mm. And then got the whole box. So these are some that I picked out earlier. I don't think there's particularly any money in these. I haven't had a chance to look them up, but it's hard to leave a Bowie single behind when it's pennies. Uh, this is Changes uh it's got on this side changes in velvet gold mine and space oddity so that's nice this well who's that <laughs> i wonder so this is stones but it's uh it's got crazy mama fall to cry so it's full to cry a side there so yeah i just yeah it's just fun uh genesis i grabbed this because it looked quite early but it, it's not really 78 follow follow you follow me genesis good song though yeah probably no real value to it yeah and it goes on and on and on let's see if we can find anything more exciting alison put the dice die straights in that pile didn't she <laughs> she was going through stuff did she i don't, I don't remember oh queen bohemian rhapsody sold in the millions won't be worth a penny but you know it's fun um, and there's some real obscure stuff in here as well. Oh, Sign of the Times, the Bell Stars. I had this as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I was given it by a friend at school, but it, it didn't have the actual picture sleeve, so I just had that. Yeah. And it's weird. I remember that logo. And for some reason, that's a question that always comes up in quizzes for me, and I never remember what the name of the band are. The Bell Stars. They didn't release a lot, did they? So there's all sorts in here. I'm thinking one evening when I'm bored and I've got nothing better to do, I'll come on and uh, we'll go through this box and look up some stuff. Elvis Presley, Gilbert O'Sullivan. So, yeah, there's lots. It's very heavy. All right, what are people saying? Oh, my God, I was obsessed with Sign of the Times song. What, well, this one? Because, of course, Prince famously did um, Sign of the Times as well, but different but different song well, altogether talking about that one bell stars yeah should i have another rummage see what else i can find quickly was oh, that REO speedwagon yeah which one is that keep on loving oh you. i like that song REO speedwagon yeah. danny k <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah there's bound to be a couple of gems in here isn't there hudson ford who who um disco charlie brown what's the artist there then disco charlie brown two Don't man two man sound two, two man two sound. man sound never heard of it two man sound <laughs> peter says any Chaz and dave nick <laughs> i do have um where is it gone yeah that <laughs> it has a little bit of value actually i picked it up at a car boot a while back she hasn't dave's knees up alongside a really yeah. nice i still feel like framing this and maybe keeping it pet shop boys yeah. picture disc 
Oh, maybe you could. I made in holy smoke. We nearly bought a um another frame, didn't I, we? We should have bought, bought that. Oh. You know, a couple of Christmases ago, Poundland were doing LP frames uh, with just a Perspix front for a pound, um, obviously. Mike, as in Mike's graphics, says, will you be listing the records as untested, Nick? Yeah. Yeah, because we don't, well, Ellen's got a record player. So yeah, we'll... neither of us have a record player I anymore. Ellen and we need one. I'm working on it. The sweet. You did actually pick one up from a, a boot sale, didn't you? And then we realised it needed an amp. Yeah, we were going to get so into it and annoying. get a whole set up and then we didn't. We should really. We're, we're yeah, useless music lovers without a decent system, but we... Yeah. yeah, we tend to watch these days. We tend to watch our music on YouTube yeah. and watch the video with we it. We sit there and do the Chrome thing, don't we? Research yeah. it on our phones. So we'll alternate. I'll sit. find a track and like ping it to the telly. So it's or... almost like our jukebox on the telly now. Yeah, that's how we consume music these days. It's really weird. And then we use Spotify and stream while we're working, or I use YouTube yeah. and watch videos. I have playlists. But um, yeah. Yeah, the Bluetooth speaker um, has stayed. It's now in the living room, currently in the living room. It can move around, but I think Ellen's used it more than I have so far. She's been loving it. <laughs> so we've well, had 21 pilots just blaring out of it. The, the Batman it's Tower almost, speaker that we showed you, a little yeah, thing like this. Constantly. She just pl yeah. pumps 21 pilots out of it. Yeah. Exceedingly loud <laughs> when she gets home from school. So, yeah, there's a whole load of stuff in here. The Chai Lights. Is that, have you seen her? Tell me, have you seen her? No. Nope. Oh. It's time. Did they do that? I don't know. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. Every man must have a dream. The Liverpool Express. Oh. Gloria Gaynor. Flex is upset that she didn't get tickets for Glastonbury. Um. Your sister and brother-in-law used to go to Glastonbury every year, didn't they? But sometimes they couldn't get tickets and they would do the volunteering thing. So they'd volunteer to like help out in the kids' tent or do other things. So they were kind of, you know, volunteering during the day and then they'd get to see some of the acts in the evening. Yeah, they for a couple of years they went and they were doing like little workshops for, for yeah, kids and like stuff. Yeah, face painting and yeah. art things and... Yeah. So they would they wouldn't have to pay, and but obviously they'd have to work X amount of hours, so they'd, they'd miss certain acts. But it was a good way of getting in. Yeah. David Essex. Oh, more David Essex. More David Essex. Hey, who's the David Essex fan? Well, that's interesting. Uh, new music, living by numbers. That rings a bell. Do I know that? I don't know. You might do if you heard it. Yeah. Sorry, th this has descended into me just looking through a box. <laughs> I know of we could be here a while. Should we wrap it up? <laughs> yeah, oh, I might do this another night. Um, so that was a fun little pickup for a fiver. Um, you know, worst case scenario, there are no gems in here, and I will just sell it on as a bundle and still make a bit on it. Caroline says, um, "Do you have that Telly Savalis one in there?" Which Telly Savalas one? I can't remember what that was called. I know what you mean. Yeah, I do. I oh, can't remember. Oh, another super chat from Quillen. Thank you, Quillen. Um, said, did you like Sisters of Mercy? Oh yes. Sometimes when I'm list when I'm listing items, I will put on live from the back live from the Royal oh, Albert oh. Hall, 1985, on YouTube in the background. Yeah, I used to buy their their singles on seven inch. Um, this corrosion and stuff like that. Yeah, great band. Oh. Royal Albert Hall. We, I've been to a couple of gigs there. It's quite a good venue, actually. Well, a really nice venue. Mm. Paul Mosley's got Glastonbury tickets. We were going to. I didn't even realise they were going on sale, but it's, yeah. Oh, classic. Oh, they yeah. are. Billy Connolly. <laughs> Billy Connolly. D I V O R C E. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh fall, fall from Grace. Oh. Rolf Harris sings Football Crazy. Yeah. Wow. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, um, I'm, putting them, I'm putting them down. says, um, wow, Sisters of Mercy, saw them and had the T-shirt. Only wish I'd kept it. Yeah. Oh, I saw somebody had sold a T-shirt earlier today. I can't remember what I was searching for. 
and a t-shirt came up that sold for a hundred pounds and it didn't seem that special oh, i can't remember what it was Band from the 90s well as heather knows you can sell 90s band tees for silly money can't you heather i think it was a couple of nirvana shirts that went for three or four hundred pounds each or something yeah 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 crazy hi david M. we're about to go actually but thanks for joining us hey david you'll have to watch back yeah it was just a quick one we wanted to pop on because um we didn't do our regular sunday chit chat um because we were busy <laughs> selling stuff for charity that's going to happen all over again on sunday um i believe it's going to be six o'clock tom the english pickers channel so go over there now find that uh, and click the bell notification so you will set up ready for when that goes live and we will sell a load more stuff for charity yeah yeah have you seen her was the chai lights okay oh, thanks okay. robert <laughs> i've plucked that from somewhere in the back of my head <coughs> that says i dreamed that blair were doing a stadium tour next year i hope it comes true who knows i have finally watched um mel's video of the q a all the way to the end yeah because <laughs> i've been watching it in bits bits and spurts because it was so long but i saw the whole bit where she was talking about music and saying that she didn't like oasis and was more a blur fan but i do agree with her i, I don't think i don't like damon alban at all i think he's a bit of a knob but... <laughs> It's all right. <laughs> I don't like it. He but can write I do a tune. Think he's a talented guy. He can I write a tune. I totally agree with her there. But you were quite put out. She doesn't like Travis. <laughs> oh, well, I messaged and said, yeah, that yeah, I. That Travis are okay. It depends what you want to get out from music, doesn't it? Travis are kind of sing along, top of your voice in the car kind of music. Yeah. I use lots of different types of music for depending on what mood I'm in, and Travis fit a certain moods. Mm -hmm. Hi, Sal's guest. She says, I have a 21 Pilots T-shirt. Is that worth anything? Uh, what is it and what size is it? Can you send me a photo? Because um, Ellen might want it. <laughs> the, the band T-shirts tend to become valuable when they are vintage because there's no way on earth of getting them again. <laughs> if it's current, probably won't be worth a lot. Yeah. Did, did well, no, I... If it's current, it still will be worth something. I think, yeah, I'd say it was... Well, I don't know. I don't know about worth anything, but um, Ellen might be interested in that. So, <laughs> Andrea said, "No, <laughs> did Andrea just swear?" Oh. Yeah, I do every now and then, you know. <laughs> Go on, say a rude word. No. Go on. Not now. Go on. No. Shout something rude. <laughs> say knob again. Knob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Damon Albarn has just unsubscribed from our channel. What are we oh, going to do? Right. What are we going to do? sorry see you george but, but. yeah we need to go and get some food so yeah sometime soon uh we'll, we'll do a pop quiz and we'll see who has the knowledge and i was thinking through this when i couldn't sleep last night that trouble with a pop quiz on the internet is you could just google it but it doesn't matter because if you actually know it you will put the answer straight in so those that are going off to wikipedia yeah who was blur well, bass it's the same player, as um like um Pop masters, you know, they could Google it, but they don't have enough time. So Some five, four, three. You, you could tell that they're, they're pausing for ages trying to get it up, up on Google. Trying to get it up. Trying to yeah. get up on, I finished it up with Google. Trying to get your <laughs> Google up. <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. I always think, is there someone in the background doing it for them and then just like, showing them the answer? Mm, you never know. But it because it's so quick, like you just said. Oh look, people are, we're not playing along yet. But but Lex, <laughs> yes, Alex James. What does Alex James now do in you know what what's he into now? Bit of an obscure question. Oh, you... oh BCP is straight in there. <laughs> Where what? At the bottom. Oh, cheese make cheese maker man. That was in before I asked the question, <laughs> wasn't it? He lives Lex. on a farm and makes cheese. Yeah, jeez, jeez, jeez. Such a cool bloke. <laughs> yeah, okay. So that, that's going to be fun then. We'll do that. And uh, I will try and keep score. Yeah, I was going to um, say, how are you going to score? It'll have to be the first one to answer. Yeah, first in get, yeah. gets a point. And I'll just have to write a list of names and, and then start tallying up. Yeah. And after half an hour, an hour, someone wins something. A yeah. round of applause. Or... Lisa's got it completely wrong. He's a priest now. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's um the guy from the Combinards, isn't it? 
the Reverend Richard Coles. Yeah, was he? Was that Communards? Was it? Oh, yeah, he was the Communards. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the keyboard player. I got confused with Brian Cox then. Brian Cox, the scientist guy who was He's in. not a Reverend. Who was in D, D Ream. He was in or D a cheesemaker. No, <laughs> but he was in D Ream briefly in, in, in the yeah. in the mid nineties. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Question two. Right, we'll have one more question then. Okay. Um, oh my You've got to goodness. think you're on the spot now, aren't you? Um, okay, let's go to Pesh mode just to sort the men from the boys. Okay. Who um, left the Pesh mode after their first album? That's quite an obscure one. Do you know? I know, but I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> he went it on to he went on week. to be incredibly successful in a couple of other bands. Might be tumble. Oh, no. Vince Clark, oh. Saz Guest, straight oh, in there. Oh, see, uh, yeah, I yeah. wasn't thinking of that person. A bit harder. Who then joined the band shortly after, and stayed with them for about six or seven albums? Oh. Elvis. Karen said. Andrea, my parents' friend, my parents' friend wrote Blame It on the Boogie. That's awesome. Yeah. Well, did Lisa say it first? Oh, on my screen, it's got Saz Guest. So nobody knows who, who joined the Pesh Mode after Vince left. Somebody must be Googling it right now. <laughs> yeah. Lisa wants five points. <laughs> Yeah, but Lisa, you weren't first in. Andrew Fletcher. No, Andrew Fletcher was in it from the beginning. <laughs> Dave Garn, he was in it from the beginning. Oh. Martin Gore was also See, in it Ro from the beginning. Rosie says, I had the pleasure of meeting Damon Alban uh, on numerous occasions. Such a lovely man. Okay. Maybe it's just that aura he gives out. <laughs> we have had every member but the one I'm thinking of who joined the band after Vince left. So, Rosie, yeah, perhaps if I met him, I'd change my mind. But whenever I've seen him in an interview, I've never been a fan. Telly Savalis <laughs> was never in Depeche Mode. Come on. Sorry, Lisa. It's what it says on my screen. It wasn't Dave Garn. You've said every member, past, present and forever. Of... No. <laughs> Should I just tell you? Yeah, I think you need to. It's Alan Wilder. Oh, there you go. <laughs> As it says, Nob retracted them, he thinks. Well, the jury's still out, you know. I still have that opinion of him, but, you know, I might change my mind if I met him. <coughs> Barry says, Dave Garn lived in the next street from me in Basildon. Epic. Lisa says, Zippy from Rainbow. Oh, did you hear about Jeffrey? Passed away. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's really sad. Yeah, the guy who was the real person in Rainbow. Yeah. Yeah. How old was he then? In his seventies. Ah, oh, bad yeah, times. No, it's really sad. Right. Yes, I think we need to go. We, we to go could some dinner. In in insanely waffle. No, waffling ainly at you for ages, but we do have to eat. Yeah. So I'll see you guys soon for a pop quiz. I don't know when. Uh, if not before. No, <laughs> if not for that, I'll see you on Sunday on Tom's channel for more auctioning stuff. Yeah. Caroline says, wash your mouth out, Nick. They're all real. <laughs> okay, sorry. Yeah, Lisa still wants her five points. I think you just get five points for being here, Lisa. <laughs> yeah, it, anyway. You, you can have five points, Lisa. That's fine. But but that it starts right, afresh on, on the on the quiz night. Right, okay, we're going. Nice. Right. Going to make some dinner. See you so later, guys. Have a good week, everyone. What's left of it? Bye. Bye. <laughs>